We've been ready, right? Sounds good to me. Zeus, how long have you had Zeus? Uh, I had him his whole life. He he just turned eight. Uh, okay. Two days. Whole life. Yeah, since he before he got his adult teeth, so I had him when he was. I think he turned three. He was about three months. Got him. Yeah. Baby. I rescued him actually. He was in a rescued. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I rescued him South Florida, uh, from a fighting ring. Oh shit. Yeah, he's a fighting breed. Got him out of there early. Hell now. Yeah, he's cool. He's three months when you got him. Yeah, he was three. So he, he he traveled the whole country. This dog's seen more more places than most. Top to bottom, left to right. That's crazy. Yeah, he's super chill. Yeah, he's been with me for a while. It's my rider right here. Eight eight years strong. That's cool. You need one of them. So every every man needs a dog, man. I always say that. I need a dog. My dog. Every man needs a dog. Spot, you think that? Yeah, I have cats. Cats are great. It's called man's best friend, right? They do say that. It, it is. Do it say is. that. Cats are men's best friends too. Sometimes I don't know about that. I cats are women. Ain't heard that one. Cat, cats are really women. You might be on your own. I think cats and women get along more than cats and men. Well, last time I ch- well, <laughs> before I count on myself. Good. Last time I checked, I don't think you identified as a woman. But no, 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 no. We are California. So I, I do like cats. I had to ask. I'm just saying. Naturally, I do recognize that my cats. You know, they they. I love cats too. The, like the Egyptians they, they, worship them, right? Oh, super worship them. Cats are are super uh, uh, oh, underrated. I believe you know, underrated. highly highly misunderstood. Super smart too. I would say like. as domestic animals, I think they just don't give a fuck. So yeah, a lot of people are like, obey me. You know, cats, they don't. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I got. But they're very affectionate you. when you want them to the be. Cats, oh, 100%. Like, yo, I'm, look, my cat is very affectionate. I'm a free man. I'm a free cat. Yeah, they're free. I don't need to do that. Yo. <laughs> For real, they don't got, yeah, they really, you can sit a cat down and be like, fuck you and walk away. Unless it's one of those, like, super obese cats. Yeah, cats those are rare. Really, like, <laughs> especially every cat that I've had, I can definitely say, like, you wasn't put in a hat on a cat. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't do that. My cat. Oh, no. No, no. Cat, be like, fuck yeah. that shit. What I look like? Yeah, yeah. And shake that shit off. Like, and do, look it, at do you it again. Crazy, like... Do it again. <laughs> I'll swat you ass, too. <laughs> right? <laughs> Like yo, what's so now? Would you say Dom, um, you're a cat guy or a dog guy? I'm definitely a dog guy. All, dog I didn't guy. even start liking cats until I was like in my twenties, I believe. Yeah, I was before I was like because I couldn't trust them. You know, like I grew up around some I don't know what's wrong with these cats, but they come up to you and they want they want you to pet them and you're petting them and then next thing you know, ah, yeah, clawed up. And ever since then, like, oh yeah, I had a cat like, like that too in me as a child so i'm like you know what? i don't even i don't even fuck with cats man and i, I, I but i was always a red nose fan like any any dog i've always had straight red nose dog straight red, red, red nose pit bull. okay that's my thing yeah cats be like that i had a cat too they just you'd be sitting there like watching tv and they just come attack your arm like and i know it's probably just playing but sometimes uh-huh. she'd be like hurt hey motherfucker yeah now we got a i got a cat at the house now okay that cat's pretty cool she's pretty chill she, yeah she just wants to be pet she every, every time she sees me just she meows. She wants affection. She doesn't say anything else. She'd be laying around sleep all day, and then she sees me, and she's all rubbing all on my leg. I pet her. All right, okay. Got it. That sounds like a woman, dog. That's she's what I'm like, saying. Cats are no, that's 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 animals. Love. Wow. Animals, women, it doesn't matter. They all are attracted to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. okay. With that, we got Dom down in the building. Hey, what Screw is animal Dom magnetism. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Put it on me. Put it on me. Let's go. Yo, you know, it's your boy, Mason Friends, the podcast. We're here. I'm Mace. I, these are my friends. At Spider Beat, you know, we got Fug in the back, always doing this. Make sure you go follow us at Cut It Up Entertainment on anything you see that's cut it up one word, second word, entertainment. That's what we do. You know what it is. We're in here chilling with the one and only Dom Dada in the building. What up, what up? You know? What up? You no. Know? Beat maker extraordinaire. Yeah, I, 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 I do my thing. <laughs> I do my thing. I think, I, I think I'm a better uh, um, rapper than i am a, a producer you know i'm still learning a lot when it that comes is a to good producing because you do be spitting some flows too yeah i think i think my rap is my uh my go-to <laughs> more than the beats you think well only because i've been doing it for longer you know okay how long have you been doing the beats what well, i bought my first one with october so you say i remember you told me yeah it wasn't that long yeah but nah, you sound like, dope already this shit you've been making i three i bought my first npc dang i heard the beats you've been making that's hot. I did not know it was that early. Yeah, he you barely know. been making beats. Or the reason I started making beats. No, I, I know. Hey, big shout out to Spider Beats. 
I know you was working on. I thought you had made beats before. Nah, man. Wow. Okay. Um, I tried some stuff out. Oh, you know, I was doing the whole logic thing and trying. Yeah. I'm not a software guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I just never really stuck to it. Never, it never interests me enough to be like, right, I'm gonna do this every day. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna make a hundred beats. You know, in in this thirty days. Um, and then I went to the, you know, when y'all had to spot out in uh Walnut Creek. Mm-hmm. I went out there. I seen you do your magic on that NPC live. And I was like, yo, hold on. <laughs> Let's get Let me see this real quick. Yeah. And I told, I told Bug, I'm like, yo, I'm about to go buy this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go buy one. I do remember that. Two days later, I had it. He's like, you had it already? I was like, yeah, man, they had one for, it was, it was for the low. I, I was cop that real quick. And you gave me a whole bunch of sounds and a whole bunch of drums. And we shot a 30 minute video of you explaining everything of how to, how to, make a beat from from start to finish so you right. chopped it up you talk you yeah, yeah. everything i think i referenced that probably a hundred times oh man you know what i'm saying i'm like all right well damn how do you do this boom yeah. back to the video and i just and <laughs> i i bought it used first mm-hmm. because i knew you know i'm like my attention span needs some work you know yeah. i'm not yeah, yeah. The, I, I don't want to spend all this money on this thing and i'm not gonna you know, really do this thing. So let me buy it and see what's up. So I bought it and I made like a hundred beats that first month and I was doing it every day mm-hmm. to the point where I was like, all right, yeah, I think I'm gonna go drop a pretty dime on, on something and make the commitment. Yeah. And I've just been doing it ever since. Since I can officially say since the new year for sure. I bought this this new machine just, just before the new year. Dang, bro. You you were very talented, bro. You picked it up fast now. I would yeah. say what now yeah. being as a rap how long you've been rapping or being a lyricist or whatever uh i started writing probably my first rhyme i think was in the fifth grade okay and i was like to a song i like rewrote the lyrics to a song yeah um i think it was that eve song it was okay. some eve song she was popping with yeah uh, rep writers okay that was big rep that was a rough writer mm. big rep writer fan um so i that was an era though that, that was, was an error. That was a whole. That still is a whole. I mean, if you if you look, you can look them up. I feel like the locks stuff. definitely have kind of took over. Yeah. Well, as far as the rap thing goes, yeah. Yeah. They, you, there's still remnants of of the Rough Riders, but the Rough Riders really is that motorcycle game. Hundred like, percent. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. they're still they're still going strong. Oh, it's super big. You go to it Philly, was, New York, and all that. Yeah, it was it, yeah. that never died out. Um, this big big respect to them. Uh, I love that. I love that. But I think the first time I ever remember the song and like spit yeah. lyrics word for word was when I was like five years old okay and then all the way up you know back in high school before I even constantly wrote my own rhymes I was always rhyming like Biggie I would be in cyphers we freestyle all the time and then all of a sudden I'd be like yo I'm gonna spit this Biggie verse real quick yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like I'm like, I gotta spit this Biggie shit real quick I, yeah. I was just I was just obsessed I would say with Biggie Small so I did that a lot um fell Rest off peace Biggie fell off you know got into some trouble growing up and that that stunned my growth as far as like taking the music thing seriously yeah uh so I, you know went on life doing my thing got better and uh just started taking it seriously about two years ago okay you know, two years ago mm-hmm. two and a half years ago i'm like i woke up <laughs> it's a funny story about sway um i woke up in the middle of the night and i'm like yo what am i doing I know I just started getting back into making music, writing, going to the studio, doing that thing. But I wasn't listening to the music afterwards. I wasn't trying to put it out, trying to find out what, how do you legally put stuff out and collect royalties on it. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. trying to do that. I was just wasting my time playing video games, going to work. So I woke up in the middle of the night and I'm like, call Sway. I don't know why. I said, call Sway. If you call Sway and you get on the radio, if, if they actually pick up and you get to talk to them, and he plays your record, you get him to play your record, you're going to stop bullshitting and take this seriously. So I woke up, 5 a.m., boom, called up. They picked up. Sway answered, started talking to me. I don't know. I, I, was, I didn't know what was going on then. I was like still half sleep mm-hmm. and not really knowing what I was talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I was talking about some bullshit, but he, <laughs> I got him to play my song, man. They That's dope. The radio. Mm-hmm. Um, and after that, I was like, yeah, it's a rap. And then, yeah, about a year later, I landed out here. Um, and yeah, we've just been taking off ever since then. That's what's yeah. up. Hell yeah. Now, do you, do you think, um, the rapping, uh, 
gave you advantage like with the beat making? Absolutely. Is that why you think maybe you picked it up? Because you've been around music. Maybe not making it, but you've been around music all your life. Yeah. So I have a talent when it comes to uh, time, rhythm. Um, I can just hear it. Like, you could play something right now, have an instrumental playing, and I, I can punch in, like, mm-hmm. in the middle of the song, right, right where that right bar is. I know where it's at. <clears throat> so I think I learned that just from rapping so much like a religion like i was really doing that like learning stuff and just rapping and i I learned music theory throughout that learned what a bar was yeah you know before i even knew what a bar was you know what i'm saying i already knew Mm -hmm. what it was um so it translates over easily because i already have a flow honestly i don't make beats off of my own ability i really just make it off of off of ear everything i hear i'm like oh i like that sound i might do the drum yeah yeah and it just comes together and now i'm spitting to it um so it's it's not i could probably focus in yeah more and try to make it more like uh tailored to a certain path or a certain kind of feel but i usually just go off of ear that's interesting um i'd say that because like they took music out of schools right and ever since they've done that, it seems like rap and computer beat making has been like the the sort of substitute. Yep. Like you see kids rapping now instead of like playing band instruments. Uh-huh. And the fact that you were able to say, I learned beats, like like what it means to be a, to to have a, to be a measure. Yep. From rapping, that's literally no different than a kid learning like a measure from playing, you know. Yeah. Do 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 female do 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 you know or well, now that you say it like that marching I, 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 so I did grow up I, I'm I'm a lot, I'm a little older than than I may seem so I did have music classes in school um I grew up I was gonna ask that too not to cut you off but yeah I was gonna ask you that yeah, yeah I grew up in in South Florida you know what I'm saying okay. so our thing was marching band you know, yeah, yeah. had marching. oh yeah you had to play either the drums or something and you like the thing was to go play at either high school you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's big in the South, though. It's huge. The band, I, stepping and all that, yeah. I played saxophone. That was my choice of, and then okay. I learned how to read music doing that, and then I moved up to New England um, shortly after, and I was taking, when I got up there, that's when I just lost all kind of. How old were you when you moved up there? Uh, This was, at this time, I was 12. Okay. When I was into music. First time I'm grabbed out. How was it for you? Was that like culture shock? I was about that's kinda what I'm asking, yeah. Yo, I'm from Pompano Beach, Florida. Okay. You know, it's a majority black community. Like I've I've you see a light skinned person, like you know what they over there for. They get pulled over quick just for being over there, you know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. hey, what, are you, what you doing over here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, moving up to Massachusetts, you know, where it's the complete uh, the opposite. Complete, kind of, yeah. You know, that's where that's where the trouble started coming in. Cause, okay. Because I was just, I was like, yeah, hey, you can't tell me nothing. You don't look like me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was not having it as a child. Man. I was yeah. a wild one. Um, but the music class, I had moved up there, um, and they were teaching, you know, like you had to play the recorder. You had and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, had, they had like a computer, like a, a keyboard class. Learn how, learn how to. So I learned. I did for a year. Okay. Now I'm remembering back in. <laughs> it's coming back, back to. You. <laughs> I did back. play the piano. So when you when when Fugwell hears me like just touch something, I'll just like touch it and I'll play like a quick rhythm. He'd be like, "Oh, do you know that's like from Zelda or da da da." I'm like, mm. I'm like, I have no idea. I just. I just touched it real quick. I didn't. Uh, know. So, some things I'm like, dude, if you do that melody, yeah, that's like a melody that somebody else came up with that's like really famous. Yeah. And so the fact that you're just like naturally doing like, oh, yeah, memorable melodies, easy. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Where'd that come from? Uh, yeah, it, it's, a, I but guess. It sounds it, like Zelda, yeah, yeah. not to catch you all yet. Yeah, it, it's, it's whatever. It's not just Zelda, but it's just. It whatever. could be anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you had the experience. Because it's just yeah. sound. It, to me, it's just sound. I'm not really focusing on, oh, let me make it sound like something else. I'm literally like, okay. That's what you hear in your head, yeah. I just make a rhythm, and it's, it comes easy. Um, but I literally, you know, growing up, my mom always said, she said, everybody loves music um, when they're babies. Some, she, said, she said most people grow out of it. Mm. 
and I just I never do that. I feel <laughs> I feel the same way. Yeah, I never grew up, right? Like you just music is what it's just life. My first I still remember I had that crisscross album. I had that uh, ABC. I had ABC too. Uh, another bad creation. I had all that. It's like I was like two years old, two three years old. I remember having headphones on. You guys are making me sound old or feel old now. Cause I was probably about <laughs> five or six, maybe five or six, all that. Yeah, yep, I mean, yep. come on, that's the good days. Sp- Spider was five or six. Heavy D and the oh, boys. Heavy D, like yeah. eleven, I think. You know what I mean? And and uh-huh. <laughs> and, and his mark. That's cool though. I love his mark. So mm. different to mm-hmm. me. Uh, I was young, you know. I I I always just knew who who he was. You know, I didn't yeah. really understand his impact. Yeah, you um, didn't remember the song you know, later yeah. on and stuff. Because I just always knew Biz was. And I'm from that, you know, culture where we were just trying to do all of that stuff. So I was beatboxing, uh, trying, to, trying to talk and beatbox at the same time. Right, like, right. We was doing all of that. Um, Dougie Fresh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biz was, I, I think, was a very underrated influence on my, on, my, um, on my music of choice for, you know, loving hip-hop so much, no doubt. Okay. Biz Marquee, huh? Um... So, yeah, RIP bit definitely. Um, so what about like the Bay Area? Have you found Paul? Um, what have you liked about the Bay Area music scene, and what have you had? Have you found tough to break in within the Bay Area music scene? Like, what struggles have you found? Well, I can't positive and negative. I can't really speak on the struggles because everything's hard at first. I just moved here. You know what I'm saying? So I understand how it goes. You got to know people. You gotta adjust there. You gotta make moves. You gotta get a, you gotta get out there and you know show face and and be friendly. Shake some hands. And I guess nowadays you gotta get everybody's social media. Nowadays, yeah, hundred percent. So I'm learning. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it a lot. I I love it out here. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm a you know I'm just a dreamer. You fit in really well with the bass scene. Yeah, I, I, I you think, really do. You feel like a Bay Alien, like you like the. <laughs> I think my music's more, you know, more East Coast driven because that's where I'm from. I'm not trying to be that way, but when people hear it, they're like, oh, it sounds like from the East Coast. So yeah, yeah, it, it was surprising. I hear that, yeah, it was surprising to me the respect that I got when I got here, and people were like, oh my God, yo, that music's so good. And then to hear other artists here that are still making East Coast style music or influenced music. Um, even you, like you, you, you don't make Bay Area. No, no, no. no. You know, your beats are like no. Southern. I make LA funk, hip hop, yeah. like LA funk, Southern LA hip hop, yeah, yeah, funk or what? Yeah, yeah. Spider definitely has a heavy uh East Coast influence. A little bit, yeah, I'd definitely. But say his beats so bump up like a West Coast yes. flow. So uh, at least that's how I think. Like more like the like a like a boom bap from boom bap funk, like the North South, like. Yeah, it's Carolina's weird. Carolina's area, Philly yeah, really yeah. really area, like boom bap with it's just that funkiness um, that you get from the West Coast, but like not the West Coast sounds. Exactly. Yeah, it's like the West Coast vibe. vibe. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to explain. It's, yeah, it totally is. is. It's sunshine. Hard to explain. Sunshine with that New York rain. Uh huh. <laughs> Cali sun with New York rain. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah. That's yeah. That's a bar right there. That's a bar. A little bit. I used to rap. Uh, we should we should bring that back. We should get on a one one together. I would do that for you, Dom. I would. What was your rap name, Spider? Spider. Oh. <laughs> was it Spider B? Spider Spy the Hero. Oh, what's Spider the Hero? Spider, Spider the Hero. Oh yeah, because oh, yeah, you're a hero. comic book fan, right? Yeah, big time. Big time. Okay. Oh, what's your favorite? You, what's your you favorite? Saving Spider Man. When I was five years old, I had a Spider Man cake, and they took a photo of it. Like oh, that, yeah, nice. been yeah. that you know, long. Yeah. Five yeah. years old. I think that character is amazing. Like as far as his, the fact that he's so little and he's not supposed to be a Superman. He's not a you know what I mean. He's the wimp. He's the uh, nerd. Yeah, he's like he's, nervous, but he's quick witted. Yeah, he doesn't get the chick, but he got the finest chick. Yeah, you feel me? Like he has powers of his own. Yeah, I mean, this... so at around five years old, I dressed up as Spider Man. Um and my late great grandfather, um, had taught me that mm-hmm. my whole life growing up. My brother was Batman and I was Spider Man. Spider Man, oh Spider Man, mm-hmm. what you doing over there, Spider Man? <laughs> and I'd be climbing all over shit, climbing yeah, yeah. tree. I was a climber. I would be all over trees and stuff. So I, was, that's funny because he's probably my favorite, also. Yeah. Uh, and so, I start learning about the villains. Uh, 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 yeah. the Who's villain? your favorite villain? 
Thanos. Thanos? Okay, all right. Okay. No <laughs> doubt. No that's doubt. Right. I just love his message. You know what I'm saying? He's mm-hmm. I, I like the realness. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's gonna be real about it, uh, and have a real message behind it. And, and nowadays, you know, if you watch movies opposite of the way that they're supposed to be, you see things differently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I tried to do that a couple of times, and I did that with the Marvel series. Like, oh, yike! Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yike! You know, it's did it. selfishness. What? Some, like the like, Marvel stuff? What do you mean? What? What's your favorite villain, Mace? Villain? The favorite villain? Yeah. Some say Wolverine could be both. I like Wolverine. He's not a villain. Could be. Well, he's he's kind of like a. He's, he's like, like a bad player. boy, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like chaotic. Yeah, what's chaotic you're reading? Like a real villain. A real villain? Um, like a bad intentions only. Like we all Magneto. Know. I love Magneto. Magneto. Oh, I love that you oh, Magneto. I love that you said that. He's a such but a. Does he have bad intention? Wasn't he like a? a oh no, he's, he's a so villain. He's, he's literally a villain. Yeah. He's, he's like he's, he's like fuck villain. all humans. Yeah. He's yeah. So he's he not it. bad because he's. They'd be wrong because they all said fuck mutants. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Or, he, or his mutants. So is he wrong? No, no. It's just. Okay. It, well, I mean, want to exterminate us? That's just like sad, you know. Yeah. He's just like a sad boy. He's like emo. Yeah, he's very emo. He definitely is. You got it. I just yeah. like the movie where he took the, uh, remember the metal out the dude? Yeah. yeah. The girl pumped it in him. Yeah. Oh, that was scary, bro. That was. Took uh, the metal out right. of his blood. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got some sick shit out there. I was like, all right. He has some issues. I don't know. I got a lot of, I don't know who else. Um, a lot of villains. Super villain. Kingpin and uh, whatever on the, in the cart. Kingpin's good. Yeah, Kingpin's not bad. Spider-Man. What did Kingpin do? He's a monster. He's a boss. Yeah. He was just, a, boss. He was just he's, a king. He's a big boss. I'm a boss and I fuck he's bitches. He's a big ass motherfucker. Yeah. I'm a, bo- yeah. I'm a big ass boss and I fuck bitches. What? I don't even that's, think he has a that's, superpower. That's what I do. That's his superpower. Well, not me. He's not like me. But. Seven feet. <laughs> he's big. Three fifth. Yeah. And he's like got gold rings on. And he's at yeah, the top of the building. He's in the penthouse. Yeah. All the way. You know, like that New York. Like, yeah. yeah. Know, like, I'll slap you if you say He'll like fuck that. you up. Yeah. Give a plate. High power. Uh, Def Jam Vendetta or Fight Night? Uh, yes, Fight I've Night. played yeah, it yeah, so yeah. long. Man, like that. We could, we could bring it's it. on that level. Yeah, he's like bringing that up. Like, yeah. like we can play that now. That game. Oh, yeah. we, we can play that later. We can play that now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yo, yes, please. But, if, we'll hey, if, we'll get with you later, but we want to do a, a stream one, too. A cut it up. We do. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, gaming. Street. Cut it up gaming. So let's Game do, night. Remember yeah. what we're doing. Let's do that one, and let's do uh, NBA Street. NBA We can run that all day. Please. Okay. Please. Okay. Please. I don't want you to cry, Dom. Oh, it's fight night. Fight <laughs> night round three. Fight night round three. Ooh, fight night. Remember that? Yo, the, <laughs> the, the 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 competitions we would have like is just out of this world. Yeah. Back Shout out to all the gamers. Yeah, all the gamers. But this is when you had like before like the online gaming. Before was there was yeah. Like, you had to you, be a, you had to go to the arcade. You could talk yeah. real trash. You had to meet the gamer at, yeah. the arcade. at the arcade. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 don't get too mad. I don't want you to slam the controller. Hey, we did that. Yeah. We did that recently. Did I talk trash to somebody? Hey, we went to. Yeah, the Emporium oh. SF, and Spider came up on this rando. He's playing Tekken and Spider. Oh, you guys went there after the museum. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because he said, "Yeah, quarters." I was like, "At the." At oh, we got tokens. Yeah, we had to get tokens. Okay. Yeah. No, I walked up way. on the guy. He's playing Tekken. I'm like, I'm like, Spy, wreck his shit. Spy came up, oh my wreck his shit, bro. <laughs> he fucked him up, and he was like, he's like, watch this. I'm gonna win with one button. I'm gonna win with one button. Oh my god. <laughs> I ain't even gonna try. I, I ain't even gonna try. Talking mad shit. I was like, damn, spy chill. Okay, I'm imagine, dog. Yeah. But a little hard I on that guy. Did he cry? He walked yeah, away. He, for did. Sure. he, he walked did. away. That, that looked look like I fuck like, him up. Fuck this white guy. <laughs> That's probably what people started thinking. Like, man, fuck Fugwell. He talks so much shit. Let's talk about Fugwell. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just lighting fires everywhere. Oh, it's funny, man. I I was really fucked up. I had no idea. Like, don't do that to me. That sounds like something you would do. I, oh, I, and then we I can drink a thousand of these. I can't drink the whiskey. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, we, we we got fucked up. Yeah, he was taking shots. I was like, oh, that's that. But it wasn't shots. It was like, oh, would you like, would you like, oh, whiskey straight or do you want it on the rock? Rocks, yeah. Uh, let me get on the rock. rock. And then they're like, look, 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 look. look, look. <laughs> So big, like bro. Four shots. <laughs> yeah, it was like yeah, exactly. It was like yeah. four shots, bro. It was Fuck. One of those uh those ones that are get wide at the top, but they were like glug glug. Yeah, they didn't know what they were doing. They were giving us a lot. Oh. Or maybe they they're like it's worth it. Come back. Of course, of course. you were having fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we got Dom Dada in the building. Um, what's new in your musical endeavors? What do we got here? Or any endeavors? Fuck the music. What's 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 going on in life? We want to know. Well, no, well, let's, f- focus. Life, let's focus. Life right now is music. 
Uh, that's that's exactly what's going on. There you go. Um, I actually just dropped my first EP. Hey, very title. first one. Uh, the title is uh Bob B O B. Okay. Uh, stands for Boss of Bosses. Ooh. Okay. Um, it's really uh, just some some a collection of some stuff that I was putting together over my my newfound love for this production shit. Okay. You know. Cool. So all of the beats on there are mine. Um, and just learning the business part of it. So it's really street talk stuff. Mm. It's not too hardcore, but really just from my experiences growing up, um, and, you know, just me as a, a protector of my people, as you would say, uh, and there's some hardcore beats that I made that are pretty sick, uh, bass, bass driven mm -hmm. in the South. So it has to, it has to thump, you know, there you go. Uh, some samples, couple, couple. I think two of them got sample, sample beats on there. Mm -hmm. Fully cleared. Learned how to do that. Good, uh, good. uh, yeah. So that's Boss of Boss. That's out now on Dom Dot. Where can they find it? Yeah. Um, first and foremost, yeah. It's out. It's out on streaming. All streaming right now. Uh, came out on the thirteenth of June. Um, but go to Dom Dot Music Dot Com. Go ahead and cop that. How do you spell it? That's D O M D A D A. Music. M U S I C dot Kizam. No, that's C O M. Dot comma. Comma. Dot Kizam. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Is that with a C or a K? Mm. I don't know. It's not all spelled right. It's spelled. Okay. It's no Ebonics in there. Uh, and where can they find you on the social? So the social is uh, the only Dom Dada. Um, but then again, just go to DomDadaMusic.com and all the plug is there. You can go link up. You can watch the videos. You can grab some merch. You can stream the album, a preview of the album. I am collecting some dollars on that. If you want to support, you can also go stream it for free on your favorite uh, streaming service. Uh, but, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm just going to go around and uh, try to get my face and name out there, do some performances, and uh, get on some more podcasts, work work with some, more, some other artists. So that's what we're doing now, um, really just trying to, um, collab more yeah um, for this next project coming out okay that's cool what, what's the next project uh i don't know yet you know i'm just putting music ah, together yeah. and still trying to promote and do my thing it, yeah. the first one so I, I i got a small team so you know we're figuring this thing out as far as the marketing and all of that but as soon as i get this machine built you know we just start flooding this post uh release well, there you go. I focus on more on you know it's kind of divided. My attention is kind of divided right now, but that's what you got to do when you're an independent artist. You just start it up. It is a lot of work, but if you don't put the work in, you know, ain't nobody else gonna do it for you. No, that's it. Heard that. That's yeah. what's up, man. And that's the te that's the type of thrive, uh, thrive, strive we need. The type of commitment. That's the word. I'm sorry. I'm on my fourth <laughs> commitment we need um, from more people just to stay focused and follow through. You're doing that, and you're learning every single step, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. Picking up, a, yeah. I mean, when you got people like Spider over here that hey. show you how to do things so seamlessly, and you pick, you, it's not, it's not that hard to pick it up that quickly. You know, it's just dedication. It's just what are you doing, you it. man? I was just glad to be around, dude. I'm, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I get, I'm, man, you make a meal, just, just say, hey, <laughs> Spider, hey, come hang out with me. I'll hang out. I'll, I got, I got a question. How do you feel about the objects and the seven new stars they found, Spider? The what? They got seven new stars out there. Now they're saying that there's the objects or something that's blocking the camera's view. Seven new stars where? Oh, wherever the stars are out there. Stars. Seven are, new ones? Stars, yeah. are stars are suns. Here's the yes. thing. Here's the thing, though. And they're saying there's an object around it. So oh, you're talking about the Dyson Spear star. I know what you're talking about. Yes, the Dyson. I thought that was kind of cool, actually. I knew exactly. Okay. I so, think it's kind of freaky that the, they that they really, like. That, that happened so long ago. By the time we got the light from right. that event. Exactly. It, it's like, yeah. they were already That's here. their they ancient. Already came that's their ancient. <laughs> yeah, they came in already left. That's in that ancient time, right? technology, right? Yeah. yeah. That, I just think it's cool. I don't, you guys For them, them yeah. Sense. I think it's really cool, too, but freaky at the same time that they just casually talk like it's nothing oh it's just an alien object like it's not well, 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 it's like, like, yeah. no why dude you know why. such a big universe you know in the back of the class like hey wait a minute nobody heard oh, that no, they no. literally said <laughs> cnn is not gonna break you 
CNN is not going to break any news. Well, they've been conditioning people for there you go. a while. And that's what it is. I think it is that. So, it, <laughs> okay. yeah. Aliens, bro. Right, oh, my right. God. Yeah. If they had told us in the 90s. Seen them in Nevada. In the 80s and the 90s. That would have been different. Bro. You're right. In the 70s. They start popularizing right. aliens. like Pre-independence day. Pre-independence When did E.T. come out? Like, 70s. No, that was 80. Yeah, 80 like 82, 83 or something. 84. Eight, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, so 84, so I was right. When was Atari out? 78, 79. That's when E.T. came out. No, we didn't. Tech team. All right. Well, there you go. Hey, hey, the guess who you work for? The tech team. Oh, Find yeah. out. Tech team's yeah. on it. Go ahead. Yeah, please do that. I said oh, AT's yeah. got to be 82, 83. That's about when I was. And born. they've been telling stories about it, like the Independence Day. Oh, yeah. 82. Stuff. 82. I was, I hit that right. I said 82. I said 83. I think, yeah. All right. All right. All right. And I wasn't but, born. And I wasn't even born yet. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is they 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 just con- they conditioned everybody yes. for so long that when they finally decided to tell the truth, which they did, they had that yeah. they had that that official and shit. Oh, I seen the one where the, yeah. the navy captain yeah, said, yeah. Just letting everybody know everything. So that yeah. there for that not blowing up as much as it should have. That's because we were shows you. I have a theory on this too. Yeah, you're right. What's that? You have a theory. I have well, answers on this. Well, I, well, I don't have the answers. I can't lie and say that. My I theory though is the aliens is us. I don't think the green little men are here. I think we did find their technology, and that's how we got what we're doing right now. If it wasn't for the aliens, I don't think we would have microphones and chips and this and that. Well, we, yeah, we, we would. would. But we it wouldn't well we would because we're in the simulation so we're always gonna have it because we're always cre- we're always destroying it and creating it it's, yeah but this is like the fastest uh evolution of it period yes, you can of say. yes human history like yeah. you end up like the past 60 years 70 years it's have like had, ramped up has and that's why i think though so from much. that it did yeah, it make it makes sense and i heard stories about they think they went to the pyramids to go find um you know, scriptures on the wall. No, they went to go find a fucking alien ship is what they were looking for. Uh, man, I got the answers. You ready? Let's see it. It's just propaganda. Oh, all of it. Who's the kings of propaganda? Who invented propaganda? CNN. Try to guess. <laughs> Try to guess. Ted Turner. Well, I would say the land. The fucking Nazis, man. I would man. say before that, oh. the land and of the Lord. The fucking Nazis. Okay, when we won, we got some of the Nazis. Yeah, yeah. And then the like the best rock talking about uh, we got Von the- Brown, whatever Warner Von Brown, Warner Von Braun invented. And there's a lot of other people. NASA, not just him. He created Nazi NASA. That eh, seems pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> He's a NASA. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> NASA, right? And then Werner Von Braun died, and then on his deathbed, he was like, "Don't let them trick you. The aliens are not real. They're never real." And it was like some crazy shit. It's all propaganda. Because anyways, like so, we got these guys. And with the Operation Paperclip, that's what, if you want to look it up. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Okay, so we got them, and then they were like, oh, you guys don't do the UFO propaganda? And the Americans were like, we don't know what that is. They were like, oh, okay, we got something for you. If you do the UFO propaganda, they'll all be scared, I look- and they'll be ready for when you do the thing. And, oh, fake what invasion. Year is this? What year is this? That's like the OG COVID. I would was know. UFOs. That was OG COVID. Was, yeah. yeah, that's the OG COVID. <laughs> because they did have that in L.A. Didn't they have an L.A.? Battlefield L.A., yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that was like a whole alien thing. It was in the they, 30s or 20s, let's maybe. Look that up. Let's look that up. Because I want to correlate no, Battlefield the LA timing on that. Movie. I was going to say, wasn't that a movie? Came no, out no, no, no. This no. is a real thing where they were real shooting thing. into the sky with um, artillery shells and shit. And yeah, this was like, it was like. Oh, this is called the Battle of Los Angeles. Dum, 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 dum. Never 1942. It's it. a weird year. Hmm, what happened in 42, Alex? Huh. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff going on in those year. I don't like 42. Anyways, nothing in the- it says searchlights and anti-aircraft anti guns combed the sky during alarm. So they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, light in the sky, like crazy, big lights. And it was like right over Los Angeles. So everyone in the whole fucking- I think it was the Los Japanese Angeles or the County. Nazis? Who was it? So well, they're trying say, to say UFO. Some people say it was really a UFO because after forties, that's when they that's did when a the nuke. Shit started, yeah, yeah, they did a nuke, and then so the aliens will monitor us. That's what they say. That's what when we're about to do. I kind of believe that one though. I've oh, and, 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 and yeah, that's some shit. Yeah, and then we did some shit. They were like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" Oh, we this go go hey, they're watching us, so they seen it. They see us exploding these nukes from yeah. far away. Like, whoa! Right, who told Albert? Who told Albert that motherfucker he could do it? So yeah, then so then it like this was during the war, and it. It apparently was a false alarm, but yeah, they were shooting at 
something in the sky. I think it was fake and propaganda. It could, it could, yeah, it literally could have just been lights because they were just pointing spotlights everywhere. Shoot. Shooting in the sky because they were just. I think it was propaganda. I think it was fake. But I think it was. I think it was, I think it was orchestrated, yeah. Because it you're doing that in a major city. Didn't they do the same thing? A major city, L.A.? The major city. Look at, is it the not the Bay of the Pigs? What is the one about oh. the Cubans when the um the CIA? Oh, uh, we can't talk about that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah we know. can't talk about that. They orchestrated a whole Operation Cuban. Northwoods. There's a that lot. what it is. We can't talk about those. Yeah. We'll get canceled. Ha! Ah, they staged a whole Cuban invasion in Miami and shit, but it it was but it was it fake. Was us. And then we started a war off of it. But then it was oh, it was That's how the Cold War started basically. Yeah, and they're trying to do it now because what were they showing on CNN the other day? The Russians are in Cuba. The Russians are in Cuba again. Like who the fuck? And it's like dude, they, they never left. They always do this they thing. Left. Where they fake something in there, and then it's like they wait like ten years, and they're like the new generation, new generation. Everyone yes. forgot. Do it again. Do it again. Same <laughs> exact way, and it's like hey, you're you're correct. Fuck. I mean, not Nobody to bring this topic up, but look what's going on in the most holiest place in the world, right? Did everyone forget already? Yeah. What? Hey, oh, hey. all right, all right. Oh, the dog's on guard. I know. On guard. Well, we got our own security team today. Hell yeah. So let her in here. Shout out to the chef. <laughs> she might have food, too. Shout out to the chef. Oh. Can I call you up here? Get down. He's just like, I'm sorry. Don't Get be down. mad at me. I'm trying to protect you. I love you. You want to take a break? No, no. Get down. Yeah, break time, I guess. Break, we're probably Where are we at? Break, out. Uh, 40 minutes. Let's call, let's, call, let's call it out. Let's call it out. Yeah, let's call it out. Bye. Yeah. How, uh, let's call it out. Yo, yo, yo. We've had a fantastic uh, <laughs> evening, day. It's been a, a wonderful time. The dog yelling and shit. Um, scaring me. I'm old. I can't take that. Yeah, I can't, uh, can't. No, no. So, um, yeah. So, Dom, let them know where they can find you one more time. And let's see. Tell us something unique about yourself that no other rapper can provide as far as the experience of seeing you perform oh uh, well you can definitely find me uh on the ig at the only dom daughter the only dom daughter yep and the only dom daughter and uh dom daughter music.com um and then as far as uh my uniqueness i mean <clears throat> i have a pretty natural voice people say it's just unique Mm-hmm. And very I, true. I agree. Very true. Yeah, I have a an ability to uh, project it. So I, I'm pretty. People say I'm pretty soft spoken in real life like, when they see me, but super surprised. They're like, "That's not you." I get that a lot. That's you. That's really? You. I can I can see that. Yeah, I can see that because I knew you first from talking, then I seen you rap. So uh-huh. I could definitely say that. Yeah, but it's not like I'm not changing my voice. I'm no. just projecting. I would say definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. To make sure everyone hears you. Yeah. yeah. So. Hey, it, Loud and clear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that, That's a, another thing. Artists, music. loud and clear. You heard for that? For real. Loud and Very clear much. so we can understand uh, what you're saying. The compliments I get is um, they love how they can understand every word I'm, I'm saying, how I'm not rapping over my vocals. Pronouncing you know? everything. I try to try to do some creative stuff with my show sets so they're not just nothing, just an instrumental yeah. with me rapping. Over. You're an entertainer for sure. Okay. Yeah, you want to leave some echoes in there, yeah. maybe some backgrounds on the hook or something, something just to make it unique. But I have the ability to remember all of the things I've ra- I wrote mm. um, and regurgitate it. I, I don't remember names. I have a hard time remembering names. Mm. I, don't think my, I don't think my brain has the capacity for learning names gotcha. as much as it has for remembering like lyrics. Ah, gotcha. that's your forte. And, and rhythm and stuff like that. So I can hear a sound that I haven't heard in like 10 years and be like, oh, wait, and know right where it came from. Mm-hmm. Just that soft thing. Oh, mm-hmm. man, that's, that was in this. Mm. That's what's up. But All right, for sure, man. Memory. It's <laughs> very, very good to uh, have you, man. You're, you're definitely one of the ones that we were looking out for and hoping to see in the near future, like, break through and make it because you definitely deserve it. You're, you're a warrior in this motherfucker. So keep keep at it, please. The one and only Dom Dada, y'all. Make sure y'all go follow him. You know yeah. what it is, y'all. It's your boy Mace and friends right here on Cut It Up Entertainment. Make sure you go follow us at Cut It Up Entertainment on everything you see. Big shout Chef Nicole in the building. You know what it is. Yeah. We up out of here, y'all. We'll see y'all next time. Let's go. Hey. Peace.